Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show, and I've just uh, woken up. Uh, it's about an hour till the NFL game starts, so we're going to get to the latest injury news uh, for the games today. Um, for my recaps, I'm going to be doing uh, the Vikings-Packers game. Um, I'll do the Lions and uh, or the uh, Bills-Ravens. Those two games are my recaps for today. And I'll do the uh, Lions-Seahawks game, or hell with the Titans Dolphins. I'm just going to do that one game uh, for tomorrow. So yeah, let's get to my NFL news video here. Uh, Eagles right tackle Lane Johnson, who uh, who's had a concussion. He did not clear the protocol in time for today's game at the Bucks, and he will be listed out, NFL sources said. This is a big note here. The Eagles are 91-54-1 and when he's in the lineup. This is per Jeff McLean. They're 14-22 and when he's not in the lineup. So Johnson will be on the sidelines to help help his replacement, Fred Johnson. The amount of injuries from both teams is insane. Like, there's so many injuries. So, but honestly, his long-term health is more important, and it was clear they were trying to rush this. At least for the Eagles, I think they have a bye next week, which is big for them. And you don't have AJ Smith, AJ, um, AJ Brandon, Devontae Smith. I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna win this game. I picked them, but yeah, no Lane Johnson for the um, Eagles today. I mean, he has a long concussion history, so you'd rather have him 100 percent after the bye week. So Joe Mixon, um, he had returned to practice, and he at what, and he was listed as questionable. He, he uh, was considered a game-time decision as of this morning. Source said Mixon with an ankle has worked hard to be back, and even though it seems like an uphill climb to play, and he tested out this morning, and um, he will be out today. No surprise. I, I say this will probably happen. Um, you got to let him heal properly. Let him come back uh, 100%. They can beat Jacksonville without him, so I think they'll bounce back big time. Against Jacksonville, probably a blowout victory. So, an update uh, for Monday Night Football. Lions defensive back uh, Brian Branch with an illness has been added to the injury report, and he's listed as doubtful. So, there's a possibility Brian Branch is not playing this game. About 30 something hours until this game. But, you know, people, sometimes people get sick. I mean, see how both these teams have some. Possibly key players out. Well, Seattle does. Their whole defensive line's out. Their whole entire starting defensive line. Brian Branch, possibly. I feel like they could be playing mind games, but I don't think him having somebody having an illness. Your top deep, one of your top defensive backs. So, coach rookie Tanner Bortolini, the fourth rounder from Wisconsin, will make his first career start today against the hashtag CR source to say longtime center Ryan Kelly, who's dealing with a neck injury, won't be able to go today. Man, for his first game going against Cam Hayward. What's? I don't think it's going to go well, man. I think Tanner Bortolini is a good player, but his first game against that Steelers defense, ooh, I don't know if it's going to go well, man. Uh, Brand Star running back Nick Chubb. This is um, this is a big injury I've here for Cleveland. He's expected to return to practice this week. A significant step in the return from a major injury. And that's a huge lift for this team. He, and, he said, I, and he said, I like where I'm at. I'm where I need to be. I would say that the biggest thing for me is getting better every day. So, he's going to be back. I think he's going to be back this year. So, some more active inactives. Uh, Packers quarterback, Jordan Love is active. Um... Saints running back Alan Parn, wide receiver Chris Olave, and Bears wide receiver Keen Allen are all active. It was reported they would all play. But Packers quarterback Jair Alexander, Jets linebacker CJ Mosley, they, they will be out today. That's that's a big loss there for the Packers, you know, not having Jair Alexander to be uh, on a Jay J- Jadis um, today. So that's going to be a big, big loss for that team. So, um, 40 hours wide receiver Debo Samuel with a calf and life tackle Trent Williams with an illness and a toe are both listed as questionable and both likely to play, sources say. Will he's being active can hinge on a pregame workout, but there's optimism. 
So it looks like the 49ers will have those two players to, as well um, today, which is big. I mean, they play the Patriots, they'll win, but they would win anyways without them, but it's good to have them back. A Bucks running back, Rashad White, who pumped up an injury report this week with an illness, is expected to play today. Source said White was dealing with food poisoning, but has improved rapidly. So apparently what was happening, he was actually having food poisoning, that's why he had illness. I don't know what he was eating, but they should use Bucky White more as their running back one in my opinion. But we'll see. But we'll see. Uh, Jaguars wide receiver Gabe Davis with a shoulder is listed as questionable and should be able to go today, source said. Obviously, they talked about this, how these players were active. Alvin Kamara, who'd been dealing with rip and hip and hip and rib injuries, and Chris Olave with a hamstring, both who were questionable are both expected to play. The O-line is banged up, two guys out there, but Kamara and Olave should be out there. So they're both going to uh, play today. Keenan Allen, who I said, who also I mentioned was active, uh, he missed the last couple of games with a heel injury, and he's listed as questionable, but he is expected to play today. So Keenan Allen finally back today for the Bears after missing the last few weeks. Now let's get to... So that's Adam Ian Rappaport. Let's get Adam Shafter here. So Steelers quarterback Russell Wilson. He's inactive today for the fourth straight week. His injury went from might be ready week one to completely inactive week four. Well, oh, it's because it's Justin Fields' job now. Sorry, Russ. Fields stole your job, man. I mentioned this. Uh, Jerry Alexander was out. He's due to quad and groin injuries. They've ruled out their standout corner. So, uh, the Packers might secondary. They still have a good, good solid secondary, man. Like uh, Xavier McKinney. They got some, still got some good um, people in that secondary. I still think it's going to be a really good game, regardless if he played or not. Looking forward to recapping this game today. Um, trying to look through here. Um, oh my lord. Justin Herbert has been free of setbacks and is preparing to play Sunday versus the Chiefs. Look, it doesn't matter if he plays or not. He doesn't have a shot of winning this game against the Chiefs, man. I just, I just don't think so. So Vikings tight end TJ Hawkinson can also come off a major, major knee injury of his own. Also is nearing a return to practice. Most likely return play dates for Hawkins currently currently are the Thursday night, October October twenty fourth game in Los Angeles, or the following week's home game against the Colts. There's no need to rush him back as much as I want to see him play. I don't want to see him play, but I don't think they should rush him back. So, um, apparently, um, Devontae has pulled up lane and in the closing minutes of Raiders practice Thursday. He grabbed his hamstring with an injury that is expected to sideline the star wide receiver on a week-to-week -week basis per league sources. Uh, pulled up lane. Did you just call him a lane? Did you just call him a lane? The hell did you say, Adam Shafter? He, he called him lame. The Raiders rejected multiple teams that approached him over the summer, apparently, when inquiring whether he would be available in trade, according to the league sources. The Raiders, considering Adam's trade um, a non-starter, and turned away teams before an offer could even be made. Well, hopefully they've changed their mind and just trade him now. He deserves so much better than this, than this trash in Las Vegas. A Bucky, Bucky Irving down with a hamstring injury is listed as this is questionable today, but he is expected to play. So that's good news. Um, Panthers wide receiver Deontay Johnson listed as questionable for Sunday due to a groin injury. Is expected to play versus the Bengals. That's gonna be that, that might be a high scoring game, but those defenses suck this year. So it's from Adam Shafter, heading in Rappaport. We got Tom Pelissero here. See if anything from him. 
Uh, Packers QB Jordan Love, who I mentioned yesterday, is expected to wear a brace on his left knee against the Vikings. His first start since suffering an MCL sprain in the September 8th opener. So he's going to be wearing a, a brace on that knee. So, that, you remember that fine I talked about yesterday with Josh Jacobs? Well, he's appealing that $45,000 fine. It was a ridiculous fine, but he's gonna, he ain't going to win that appeal. That was Mike from Tom Pelissero. Mike Garofalo. See if, if there's anything on JP football, and then I'll wrap it up here. Um, doesn't look like it. We'll see if we got anything from JPA. So, um. There's some two rumors here. Uh, the 49ers are expecting to have star running back Christian McCaffrey back by at least early November per rap sheet. So it looks like it's going to be uh, Jordan Mason until uh, running that at running back until November. I mean, it's not bad early November, but will work out. I mean, Achilles tendonitis is hard to come back from, though, man. Like, I, I doubt it. Because Achilles tendonitis is hard to come back from. Uh, will he even be back this year? So, per rap sheet, major changes are not expected to happen for the Jaguars if they fall to 0-4 today. But the people inside the building know they need to start winning games soon, per rap sheet. I didn't realize Tony Khan was more, so hands-on with the Jaguars. There was a failure at everything it, with his AEW ratings and fucking... Uh, the football Jacksonville Jaguars. Remember Shahad Shahad Khan or Shahad Khan said um, like a month ago that this Jaguars team was the best team they've assembled in franchise history or something like that. This team sucks. Doug Peterson is gonna get fired at some point. There's no way he doesn't. He's gonna get fired. Ravens tiny Mark Andrews says, "My time will come when open about when uh, talking about his lack of reduction over the 2024 season. Maybe his time will come for sure, but I mean, he's he ran like seven rats. Of course, the ball isn't coming his way, and they run the football a lot more this year with um, Derrick Henry and um, Lamar Jackson." Former Jets head coach and current ESPN analyst Rex Ryan says the Cowboys were too cheap to hire as their def were too cheap. Tires their defense coordinator and took a shot at current defense coordinator Mike Zimmer v via USA Today Sports. I could have fixed the Cowboys defense a minute, but, but that being said, they couldn't pony up the money or I would have been there. You brought a guy that was 29th in the league his last two years at Minnesota. I mean, honestly, you told my lies. Everyone in Minnesota hated Zimmer. Better culture now without him. And now they're 4-0. Say what you want about Rex Ryan, but I, be I, f I believe he would help this defense more than Mike Zimmer. Because Rex Ryan can coach a defense. He done that in New York. He coached a good defense. And the, and he's right. Mike Zimmer was 29th in the last league in his last two years in Minnesota. We all got fooled by the um, got fooled by the first freaking game against Sean Watson. And I don't care if Rex Ryan had been on the five sideline five years. I'd rather have, have take a chance on. I probably took a chance on him. Now thinking about it then. 49ers star wide receiver Brian Ayuk. He says his defenses are playing differently this season. And the, yeah, double team and Brandon. I mean, I guess double team Brandon Ayuk can leave John Jennings whopping. <laughs> and it's excuses. Maybe don't sound crying for a bag and get on the field and, and suck. You've dropped a lot of passes as well, Mr. Ayuk. I um, mean, yeah, it's all the NFL um, I want to talk about here uh, on the show. I'm ready for the NFL games today. Should be um, good slate games. There's some solid games today, like the Vikings and uh, Packers game, Bills Ravens, Lions and Lions Seahawks tomorrow. Some decent game. Bucks Eagles. I think I still could be solid. So yeah, it's all to here. Leave a like, comment, subscribe for more. Next time, have a lot. Peace. And I'll see you guys later.